गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आम ह्यो विथ अ न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज क्लास फिफ्थ लेसन सेवन फ्रेज इज वन लेट्स सी वॉट इज अ फ्रेज अ फ्रेज इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स डैट गो टूगेदर बट डू नॉट मेक अ कम्प्लीट सेंटेंस फ्रेज इज एक्ट एज अ सिंगल पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच इन अ सेंटेंस इट मीन्स फ्रेजेज आर ग्रुप्स ऑफ वर्ड्स डैट डू नॉट हैव अ सब्जेक्ट एंड अ प्रेडिकेट they do not make complete sense on their own but form a part of sentences examples the cat jumped over the table i took cocoa for a walk she had lunch with his friends after the ceremony we had lunch he fell asleep on his desk in the given sentences the group of words over the table for a walk with his friends after the ceremony on his desk they do not have a subject and a predicate they also do not make complete sense by themselves but they form and they are parts of sentences so such group of words are called phrases the most important word in a phrase is called its head word and due to this head word we can identify easily that which kind of phrases it is let's see kinds of phrases noun phrase verb phrase adjective phrase adverb phrase prepositional phrase a red box in this group of word the word box is a noun and it is used as its head word so it's a noun phrase will go in this group of word helping verb with main verb that is verb phrase quite big the word big is a adjective and it is a head word so quite big is a adjective phrase very slowly it's a adverb phrase in the car it's a prepositional phrase so in this chapter we will discuss about noun phrase verb phrase adverb phrase and the next chapter we will teach you adjective phrase and prepositional phrase so let's start one by one first is noun phrases when phrases play the role of a noun it is called a noun phrase example the stolen watch was recovered the stolen watch this part of the sentence the word watch is a noun and it is used in this sentence as its head word so this group of word is noun phrase i drank a glass of milk in this sentence a glass of milk this group of word the word milk is used as a noun as its head word so this is a noun phrase form of the noun phrases in which form you will get in sentence noun phrase it can be a noun or pronoun for example he wears a turban people stood in a queue so in this both sentences the word he and people in this form also you will get noun phrase second you can be a demonstrative adjective or an article and a noun so you can get in this form also noun phrases for example the boy broke a window pane so the group of word the boy boy is a noun the is an article the boy is a group of word so it is a noun phrase those boys are very naughty in this sentence the group of word those boys is a noun phrase as you can see the word boys is a noun and it is used in this sentence as its head word with a demonstrative adjective that is those so it's a noun phrase next noun phrase can be an article and a combination of different kinds of adjectives and a noun in a sentence example 
mother bought a loaf of nice fresh brown bread in this sentence as you can see a loaf of nice fresh brown bread the word nice fresh brown all these words are adjectives and it describes the noun bread so with this combination also you will get noun phrase in a sentence that lovely attractive lady is my grandmother the word that lovely attractive all these words are adjective which is different kinds of adjective so in this combination you can get noun phrase in a sentence function of noun phrase how it works in a sentence a noun phrase can act as a subject for example the boy at the back is sleeping in this sentence the group of word the boy at the back is a noun phrase as it is used as a subject in this sentence a noun phrase can act as an object so we can use noun phrase as an object also in the sentence example we bought a large bucket of red roses in this sentence the group of word a large bucket of red roses is a noun phrase and it act in this sentence as an object next is verb phrases what is verb phrases a phrase that consists of a helping verb and a main verb is called a verb phrase it means a verb phrase is a phrase that has a main verb as its head word it functions as a single verb in a sentence by talking about an action or a state of being for example he is writing a letter in this sentence the word is writing both are verbs is is a helping verb writing is a main verb so in this sentence as you can see the group of word is writing a phrase it is a verb phrase as it consists a helping verb with a main verb everybody was watching the match was watching is a verb phrase as it consists a helping verb and a main verb together we were playing cricket verb playing in this sentence is a verb phrase form of the verb phrase in which form you will get verb phrase in a sentence let's see it consists of a helping verb helping verb means like is am are was were has have had will it is see and main verb when you will get any helping verb with the main verb that group of word will be a verb phrase example he has completed the task in this sentence the word has is a helping verb the word completed is a main verb and both as you can see is having in this sentence so this group of word is verb phrase he has been working on the project since monday in this sentence also the group of word has been working is a verb phrase as it consists helping verb and main verb together they were walking in the park in the same manner in this sentence also verb walking is a verb phrase as it's having main verb and helping verb together it consists of a model models that is must might should could can may will would it is see with a main verb it means that in any sentence if you will get helping verb with a main verb and models with a main verb that group of word is a verb phrase example they must be watching television in this sentence the word must is a model and watching is a main verb so in this this group of word must be watching as you can see that it consists model and a main verb so it's a verb phrase we should obey our elders should is a model obey is a main verb so this group of word is known as verb phrase how it functions in a sentence a verb phrase forms a part of the predicate for example i am reading a novel the underlined word i am reading a novel is a predicate predicate 
to whom we are talking about any sentence what we are talking about whom we are talking that is subject what we are talking about the subject that is predicate so the underlined word i am reading a novel is a predicate so you can see in this sentence the part of the predicate having verb phrase i am reading the naughty puppy is playing with his mother what we are talking about in this uh, about a naughty puppy is playing with his mother so the underlined word is a predicate and verb phrase is a part of a predicate is playing in this part of predicate the group of word is playing is a verb phrase they had prepared a delicious dinner for us had prepared a delicious dinner for us this is a part of predicate and had prepared is a verb phrase so verb phrase works in any sentence as a part of the predicate the car had been stolen from the bank in the same manner the group of word had been stolen is a verb phrase and this is a part of the predicate had been stolen from the bank next is adverb phrases a phrase that plays the role of an adverb is called an adverb phrase it means an adverb phrase has an adverb as its head word and it acts as an adverb in a sentence and modifies the verb so as we know that adverbs always tell us how the action is done where the action is done when the action is done and when in a sentence we use adverb as its head word that part or that group of word is a adverb phrase example he slept like a baby after the game we had burgers you could park your car under the tree so as you can see the underlined word in the given sentences like a baby it tell us how the action is done after the game it tell us when the action is done under the tree it tell us where the action is done so this group of word are known as adverb phrase how it will get in which form we will get in a sentence adverb phrase an adverb phrase consists of two adverbs together in a sentence example she walked very quickly in this sentence very quickly both the words are adverbs and this group of word is a adverb phrase so when you will get in a sentence two adverbs together that group of word is a adverb phrase she made lunch really fast in this sentence also the word really and fast both are adverb and as we have used in this sentence adverb as its head word so really fast this group of word is known as adverb phrase an adverb phrase consists of a preposition a noun and some words that modify noun example he bought some loaves from the shop at the corner so in this sentence the group of word at the corner is adverb phrase first of all it tell us where the action is done second it is it consists preposition at corner noun and it also modify noun also that shop he bought some loaves from the shop at the corner so where the action is done it tell us so this group of word at the corner is a adverb phrase the cat slept between the pillows so the group of word between the pillows they are tell us where the action is done where the cat is left and it also consists preposition and noun preposition that is between noun that is below so this in this form also we can get adverb phrase in a sentence how it works in a sentence as i have told you that adverbs always tell us how the action is done where the action is done and when the action is done so an adverb phrases tell us the time of action example in late november i planted some orchid 
when i planted some orchid in late november it tell us that when the action is done i will meet you at the library at 3 o'clock the group of word at 3 o'clock tell us when the action is done so this group of word is known as adverb phrase an adverb phrase tells us where an action happened he works in a hardware shop the group of word in a hardware shop tells us where the action is done so it's a adverb phrase i will meet you at the library at the library tell us where the action is done so it is adverb phrase an adverb phrase tells us how an action happens example he spoke in a polite manner how is he spoke in a polite manner so this group of word is a adverb phrase she walked on the wet floor very carefully how she walked very carefully so the word a group of word very carefully is a adverb phrase so when you will get in a group of word that tells us where the action is done when the action is done how the action is done and the adverb is used as its head word in the sentence that group of word is a adverb phrase so i hope students it is understood for you all just go through this video and read your chapter after that if you have any problem so you can ask during online class thank you have a nice day